It's 2020. I don't have time for cute intros. I'm waking up dark and early, doing my videos, editing my videos, chasing babies, <laughs> teaching kindergarten, and maybe finding some me time at the end of it all. So in the spirit of Vlogmas this time of year, I bring you a little Emily Awardsmas mini vlogs within the Emily Awards. Morning, I just got done shooting my next Emily Awards video. Whew, these are a lot of work, a lot of thought, like not necessarily that hard to sit down and shoot and talk about my favorites. Like I, I could do that all day, every day, but just the thought behind like, what am I gonna talk about? And really going through and thinking the year back. It's a lot to think about. Good morning, beautiful. How was your night? <laughs> hey. Emma. Would you look at this? Look at this sweatshirt, H&M. What do you think of your softy sweatshirt? It's so soft on the inside. You're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for material, huh? <laughs> Just missed me getting my socks on. Dang it! I missed it! Yep, put it right there. Are you guys all ready for Wear Red Day? I like those glasses. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say to my vlog? Merry Christmas! Oh, that was nice. Big project of the day today, Chex Mix. We're making the old recipe Chex Mix that your grandma first made. Bubba and Biddy are taking a nap, but I know Biddy will probably be up and still able to take part in the latter part of this process. We're doing kind of a uh, hot chocolate version, so um, we actually end up sprinkling in hot chocolate mix. Just a few little tweaks on the recipe, and I will have the recipe listed below if you want to make it too. Oil and Worcestershire sauce and garlic powder and sugar that has heated to nearly a boil on the stove. Nikki, can you dump the honeycombs in? We got the check and honeycombs that's split between two bags here. New addition this year is that Hershey Kisses cereal for more of a chocolatey vibe. We have 24 ounces. We didn't have the pretzels, so dad had to run out and get us the pretzels. Thank you so much. That was a miracle I got them. This is kind of a tricky part to show, talk about on paper as far as the Chex Mix goes. We've got a mixture here of oil, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, and uh, sugar. And when that gets all combined, you don't just dip in and get everything you want out of there. So you've got to, Mom, can you show how you take a spoonful? Go down and get something that looks like that. <laughs> you gotta get something like that. And you gotta do it on purpose because you mm -hmm. won't just pull your spoon out and If you it. tip your pan to the side, you can... You gotta make sure some that. of that's going in as you spoon a couple spoonfuls at a time. So mom's gonna do that and show here. I'm kind of giving it a shake like this, trying to like get everything sort of rotated around in the bag without breaking up the checks. And these bags that we're using is what legend has it that we have to use. And you might be concerned, did you just like get your groceries in these last week? No, no, no. no we've had these particular bags for well over a year. Um, so pre-pandemic, we set them aside. I hadn't been using them. So there's no concerns about germs on the bags. been vlogging a lot in standard vlog mode. I feel like that Chex Mix project took a while, but feels really good to have it done. No, Bubba! 
Hello friends, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to be with you for part three of the Emily Awards. So this is gonna be my lip favorites. Um, if you haven't already seen the face and eye portions, those are the other two that are already out and I will have them linked below. I wanna thank you in advance for a thumbs up on this video. I appreciate it so, so much and it really helps the reach of this channel on YouTube. So thank you very, very much for your support. And I am so excited to say that it is snowing outside this morning. Like it just beautiful little gentle light snowfall. I look outside the door and I knew that there was a chance we were gonna have a little snow overnight. I would say maybe it's about an inch, a little less, just looking out on the grassy surfaces and that was so fun to see. But anyway, we've got a lot to talk about today. We've got a lot of amazing favorites, some that have won multiple years, some that are new in this year. So let's get the hair behind the ears and let's get after it. The first category is best lipstick. So we're just talking creamy lipstick formulas here, um, not a liquid lipstick. There's a separate category for that. That. But from the drugstore, I'm sticking with a certain kind of lipstick that I just think is an incredible formula. I think it feels way more luxurious than its price point, and it is the L'Oreal Color Riche Shines. I love these. I think these are just such a fantastic product. I always talk about varnished rosewood. Okay, that is the my lips but better kind of shade. It's probably in a purse somewhere. But um, today I'm holding up this deeper shade. This is called Gleaming Plum, and this is a beautiful one as well if you want a fun little sort of uh, orchid pop of color. But the most important thing about this is not so much what color you pick, but it is the formula contained in these sticks. Um, the packaging is very important, how they have the tube actually hugging the lipstick bullet because it is a very, very creamy formula. It is something that kind of gives you that sensation of lipstick and lip gloss in one. Um, there is an overall, I think, moisturizing yet kind of lightweight feel. You know, it's not a super heavy product on the lips. I know that a traditional lipstick, especially if you're a mask wearer and you're going out and having to wear a mask, you know, every day for your job or you're in school or whatever, you know, a creamy lipstick is not a practical option for you, but I'm still giving those lipstick favorites because there will come a time where we'll be back to showing those lovely lips to the world. And the L'Oreal Color Re Shine, again, it is a shiny finish. It's very creamy. There is a richness. There's a little more thickness to it than those um, Revlon Melting Gloss Pout. Those newer lipsticks that came around, I think within the past year, I believe these have a little less greasy feel, a little more like kind of rich, balmy feel, but that beautiful shine as well. Then for my best lipstick for high end, this really came in at the tail end of the year, but I love this formula so, so much. And it's from Buxom and it's the Full Force Plumping Lipsticks. They had a nudes collection that I tried and there are a couple of shades from that. Probably the least nude ones are the ones that I like most. Um, the one I was wearing actually in my last video, I had a lot of questions and I think I'd forgotten to to identify this shade in my uh, description, what I was wearing, but I was wearing the shade Supermodel, and I can't believe how these really do kind of plump up the lips. Like, honestly, my lips look plumper when I've got these on, and it's not because they're over the top shiny. I think there's a nice thickness to them that really helps fill in lines, you know? Um, but there's that cooling sensation that we get from a lot of different Buxom products, but it's coming out of a really pigmented, creamy lipstick. Like I said, shine is not over the top. To the naked eye, somebody looking at me, you know, it has the appearance of a classic cream lipstick. But it is giving you that kind of cooling, plumping vibe, and I love the colors so much. I think Supermodel is kind of like an everyday sort of pinky tone shade that's so, so easy to wear. And then they've got a gorgeous dusty rose in that nudes line called Pop Star, so that's a little bit deeper, and I love this shade also. They've got some pretty nudes too. I'll link to the video below um, where I tried on everything in that range, but they are a wonderful lipstick, and the staying power is actually not too bad for a cream lipstick formula. But I have kind of a tie here on the high end side for best lipstick, and it's a new product that I've tried this year from M Cosmetics, and it's their lip cushion. They call this a lip luminizer. It's a really interesting product that I think we're gonna see a lot more of from different brands in the coming year. We're already seeing some other brands do it. Um, I know Tarte has some. It Cosmetics is coming out with something similar, but these from M Cosmetics, kind of the first ones I've tried of its kind, where you've got this skinny lipstick and you're gonna twist it up 
It's not with the ability to twist it back down though. Okay, this is not a classic twist up and down skinny lipstick, but you twist it up and it peaks up just above the edge and that's when you wanna start applying. And then that full part that you have twisted up pretty much has just transferred fully onto your lips. And it's so creamy and so shiny. And it actually, whereas the L'Oreal Color Shine has the feel of a lipstick and maybe the look of a gloss, this has the feel of a gloss and the look of a gloss, but the format of a lipstick. Okay, you follow me here? The shade I've been holding up is the first one I used, which is Venetian Rose. Love that very, very natural, kind of a your lips but better type of shade. Um, the one I've been wearing throughout this video is this gorgeous berry shade here called Mystic. Okay, so that's in this kind of packaging, this berry tone. Again, you're gonna twist it up beyond, just beyond the plastic part, and then that whole portion is gonna apply to the lips, and you're gonna feel feel like you've got the beautiful thickness of a lip gloss on your lips, but it came from a stick. As you wear it a little bit more, I think it kind of goes back to feeling a bit more one with the lips, a little bit more lip sticky, if you know what I mean, with wear. But right out of the gate, it totally seems like you've just put on lip gloss, but you swear it came from a stick. It's crazy. I love that stuff. Gotta keep it moving. As much as I want to talk for days on each of these things, gotta keep it moving. Best jumbo lip pencil. Okay, this has got to go from the drugstore to the Maybelline, um, matte ink crayons. Just a fantastic product for long wear, fullness of color, ease of application. I mean, if it were a toss up between do you want to apply a liquid lipstick or do you want to achieve nearly that same staying power, but from an easier to apply, no fuss stick, I would usually go toward this, okay? Because it's a really, really brilliant formula. You've got this twist up stick. Okay, we've seen these a lot of times from different brands. Um, they come with the tip very formed. And if you want to keep it formed, you've got this little like sharpener at the end. I really don't use that very much because I feel like I still have enough precision just as is. But the brilliant thing about the formula is that you kind of expect it to go on being matte and kind of thick. You know how matte cream lipsticks are, but it actually kind of thins out as it comes in contact with the lips, which is kind of amazing and really helps the comfort of these products on your lips. And then they go on and they set. So you're not worried about that transfer off. When I say it's nearly as long wearing as the Superstay Matte Ink in the traditional formula. Stand by, we're coming to you. That product can last a little longer than these, but these still can get you through a good portion of the day, kind of depending on what color you choose. A really great everyday works for anyone type of shade would be this one I'm holding. I always have to check, it's Lead the Way. Okay, this is a beautiful shade, kind of a mauve pinkish color. Really enjoy that one. Um, I've also got like a warm red that I love so much, a hot pink. A really great classic red from this line too is called Own Your Empire. It's the type of line you kind of want to collect them all from. You know, it's a really, really great formula there. My other favorite is not high-end. It's also drugstore, and it's going off in a totally different direction from that, okay? It's not long wear. It's more of the jumbo lip pencil where jumbo lip pencils began, you know, feeling more balmy, feeling more like a tinted lip balm, really. And for that, I want to give the award to the Just a Tint from ColourPop. You may remember back in March, yeah, the pandemic was getting started, and Mama had a little limited edition collab with ColourPop. Thank you so much if you got that set. Um, but it was just a set of these Just a Tent lip colors that I love so, so much. For me, I really like the scent. I think they smell like fruit snacks completely. Like you just opened a little thing of fruit snacks and took a whiff. That's what that smells like to me. But these are gonna be creamy. They're gonna be shiny. I like how the more intense shades, like this one I'm holding, a go-go, some of that shine can wear down. You've still got some color on your lips. But it's a comfort kind of balmy feel as opposed to the matte dry down of the last product I mentioned. I also love Gimme Some More, you know, for a nice little neutral. They're just easy, low maintenance, throw it on shades that feel so comfortable, so smooth, but yet they really do achieve the color you wanna get out of them. I also love that the name is on the top and the tube is colored like the shade you're going to be getting. I'll definitely link to my old video where I talk a lot, lot more on these, but I think they are a great, comfortable, yet colorful, easy, low fuss product. Now we're going to talk liquid lipstick. Again, the drugstore is really taking over some of these categories. Like, it's not that I don't have high-end favorites in some of them, but like, I got more drugstore favorites, which is nice to see. Um, but for best liquid lipstick, so these are going to be matte liquid lipsticks with a dry down, with, you know, an amazing staying power. I, I guess 
guess except for one, we have a little exception, but the Maybelline Matte Ink is where it's at for your staying power. Part of what makes these, I think, a really successful product is that when you use them, you take them out, you've got a nice little applicator here with a bit of a point, which helps your precision a lot, but they are a very nice, thin formula. And I talk about this pretty much every time I apply a liquid lipstick on camera, and I've been really into the long wear stuff these days. I guess the pandemic has made me like a more practical person. I'm like, just give me something that's gonna last all day that I don't have to touch up. The way to apply these, you get them all over your lower lip, blot it, muh, to the top lip and then just even it out without trying to go back for more. Unless you're really, really low on your product in here, um, that's gonna probably work for you. And that's going to result in the thinnest application. This is already a thin product, so it's gonna be more comfortable once it dries down. But if you can really keep it as thin as possible, as little product as you absolutely need going across the lips, and it's pigmented so you don't need to go building it up, it's gonna feel fairly comfortable throughout the day. Not as comfortable as like your favorite lip balm, but you know what I'm saying. It's not gonna feel like that separate layer of thick, dry, matte crustiness that we've all experienced at one time or another with a liquid lipstick. So shades, yeah, there's some beautiful shades. A couple of my faves would be Lover. This is kind of your classic, you know, easy to wear pink. And then I really like this one for a toasty nude. Um, it's called Seductress, beautiful shade, love that so much. Another great one from the drugstore, and this is a mega under the radar product, but it's the Rimmel Provocalypse. And this is so special because it's kind of doing what CoverGirl Outlast does, but I think it's a little more comfortable and a little better wear, frankly, than CoverGirl Outlast. So you've got your first layer that you're going to put on. This feels just like liquid lipstick. You let that dry down and then connected to the other end is a bit of a gloss here. So you have a little shine and there's a nice scent on that that I really can't pinpoint. It's kind of sweet, but there's a little like kick in it. I don't know. But a neat thing about the gloss is that it's not like a super wet look gloss. It practically feels like melted down lip balm going on, if that makes sense. It's not over the top shiny, but it gives you that moisture. And because this balm was meant to work with this product, it does not break it down. In nearly any other circumstance, like if you took Superstay Matte Ink and you threw a gloss over top, you would start breaking down that product. But here, you know, it's meant to be. So you've got that gloss on on top, it's giving you the long wear, but it's giving you a really comfortable feel. So if that matte finish is not for you and you want something that feels downright balmy on the lips with great all day staying power, check out this line. And I think the most wearable everyday shade for me, I feel like I'm sharing a dusty rosy pink in all these categories, but this is a shade called Wish Upon a Berry. The other day in a vlog when I was wearing a bright red, it was Kiss Me You Fool. That was the shade I was wearing. So great, great option. And then I also do want to mention the Too Faced Melted Matte because I've been using the heck out of Too Faced Melted Matte. They came out with a great four-piece holiday kit, which I sung its praises. Um, I believe it's sold out in a lot of places now. So, you know, I warned you. It was a great, great set. A wonderful color combination there, and it caused me to wear those quite a bit. And I feel like, you know, like the matte ink, um, you can get that thin amount of product on. You can get some fairly comfortable wear out of it. Um, the one I'm holding here is just the pumpkin spice. But it lasts really well without transferring off. There's a pretty long list of things called liquid lipsticks that I like, that I think are comfortable. Um, the M Cosmetics Lip Cloud, the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. They're nice, but they're not truly 100% transfer resistant. So the things I'm talking about as winners for this category, because I don't want to steer anybody wrong, and I know this is probably what a lot of people are looking for with the mask wearing and all that. You want something that's not going to transfer off. So the Too Faced Melted Matte, the Rimmel Provocalypse, if you do want that moisture feel on there, and then the Maybelline Superstay Matte ink. That one in particular is the hardest core staying power I think you're going to find, period. This year I've got a category for lip stain, and I've got a couple of pretty unique products in here to talk about. Um, one of them is from e.l.f., and it's called their Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick. Did she just find a way to sneak in another liquid lipstick into this video? Yes, I did. Have you guys tried these? I don't think these are a mega new product to e.l.f., but they are so thick thin and lightweight. They do completely dry down on the lips, but they're like lighter and just a little more sheer. There's still plenty of color going on there, but can you kind of see what I'm talking about as I swatch that? It's a little more sheer than you're going to get out of like a Maybelline matte ink, but it will dry down. The staying power will vary by shade because um, I've got like a lighter shade of this. Where is it? Okay, can't find it. I got a lighter color. It wears off a little faster. This shade that's called... Um, 
praline petal. This wore actually really, really well on me. But I'm calling it a lip stain because there is that more transparent vibe to it, like just a little more sheer than your standard liquid lip, but really comfortable, really light, super duper light um, in comparison to anything I mentioned in the last category. So I wanted to give that a shout out. I feel like nobody talks about those. I think they're just sitting under the radar on Elf's website and they need their praises sung. Other thing I'm going to mention in this category is a super, super exceptionally unique product from Urban Decay and it's called their Vice Lip chemistry. The one I'm holding here I think may have come from like a special collection. Packaging may look a little different generally speaking. The one I've got is a red shade and it's called Wire and this is a product that's going to go on looking like creamy gloss on the lips and after you've got that on the lips like it still stays feeling creamy and whatnot but you, it doesn't transfer off with color it transfers off just like there's maybe clear gloss on your lips it's really really strange but you do indeed have the shiny color on there like see it's already happening it feels moist it feels tacky to the touch and then i'm not pulling off on that finger i'm not pulling off any this was immediately after you're going to get some but then it sits there and you just get clear like what's happening what is happening i'm not a chemist i'm just here to tell you about the stuff i like i don't know how it's working it's crazy but it's really cool and that is a product i've been meaning to get in some other shades because that is a really amazing thing that i've never seen happen with any other lip product again it stays gloss like that's not a product that sets up dries down no shine whatever it stays feeling glossy but you touch it and it looks like it's just clear coming off of your lips have i made myself clear here on this one. Best lip balm. I love a good lip balm. My favorite. Dang it, I left it downstairs. Okay, the e.l.f. CBD lip oil. I'm putting this into the lip balm category because I just feel like it's used in that capacity. It functions as a lip balm, but it kind of is more of a lip oil, lip gloss format. Does not feel like a greasy oil, though. Has a scent that's like delightfully minty and light and kind of awakening, although I like to use it before bed at the end of my skincare. Um, it softens the lips so, so well. I love waking up after I've used that and it's like, mmm, that was really a good thing. Majorly enjoying that stuff. Also, if you like just a traditional stick lip balm, this Blistex Moisture Revitalizer, I think I was talking about this in a favorites video or a bite size review or something. This also has just a little bit of a scent, just barely there, but it is thick, thick on the lips thick moisture barrier kind of balm. This is like repair your lips, protect your lips, take care of those puppies if you're out working in the elements. Maybe you've been living the mask life all day at work and then you get home and you're like, I need something on my lips because I haven't been wearing a lot of product. This is the thing. This is so thick, rich, moisturizing, uh, would be a nice before bed product or a nice little anytime, hey, my lips are getting dry and chapped kind of product. Put it on the kids. Kids' lips can get so, so dry and gnarly and crusty sometimes. And yeah, those are my top two and they're both drugstore, but like that's just the way it's shaken out this year for best lip balm. Best tinted lip balm. There are a lot of things toward the top, my friends. So it's not me like saying nothing else is good and this is the only good thing. This is just kind of what was tops for me this year. Um, the Kush Lip Balm from Milk. First off, is it a lip video? if we're not talking about a little magnetic closure there. Love that. Um, this shade, I've used so much of it. This plush berry color, love. Oh, and it goes on with that kind of minty cooling feel, which I am a big, big fan of. And I love that sheer berry there. You know that is like a must have for me to have a nice berry tone in this. The lips look beautiful and pillowy soft. Sometimes with tinted lip balms, you get a real glossy shine off of them. This, I feel just kind of fills in the lips and makes them look kind of pillowy and plump. This plush berry shade is a great one. I also do like this shade called Bubble. Both were included in the little party pack for the holidays and they gave you also the clear one that looks green but you know it's just a clear balm. And then she's still here my loves, my Nivea Blackberry Lip Care. Love this so much. Oh gosh let's swatch it in here next to the milk that I just mentioned. You know it's really really similar to that plush berry shade but this this is such a nice lip balm. It feels so good. Nivea knows how to do lip balms, but the color on it is so, so 
stunning, but it's stunning without trying, okay? I've mentioned this before. If you haven't tried it yet, like what are you waiting on? It is an absolutely wonderful shade. If you're around your house and you're like, I don't maybe need or want to wear a long wearing lip color. I just want something comfy, but maybe I want a little more color than just plain old lip balm. Get you this. And if you've never ever tried a berry color and for whatever reason you think it's not for you, try this. Try this shade. It's so great. To be completely honest with you, like I love this magnetic packaging and everything, but if these two like had to battle it out, like I think Nivea would probably win. Did I just do that? Okay, best lip liner. <laughs> Best lip liner, y'all. We're getting down to it. Um, this is my Milani Understatement Lip Liner. New lip liner that Milani has come out with this year. Previously, been a big fan of their Color Statement Lip Liners, which were just classic pencils that you're gonna sharpen up. There's been one called Spice. I've used it for years. I absolutely love it. But this twist up format, gotta say, I really, really enjoy that. It glides on so easily. And this shade specifically called Nude Entrance is kind of like a cool, medium neutral and it is i think the best friend to so many nude lip colors or tinted balms or whatever it is that you want to put on if you want to add just that little definition if you feel like you put on nude lips and there's something missing because it's not quite clean enough and not quite finished enough this is what you need to add to your look. You can either add it on top of a lipstick to just give a little more, or I would suggest putting it on at the start, filling in your entire lips with it. You will up the staying power of your nude lip and you will make it look more finished and clean and defined. And it's just so creamy, such a perfect tone. I have the other one called Cinnamon, uh, Cinnamon Statement. That one's gonna be a little richer and warmer, but the main one here that I'm talking about is Nude Entrance. All right, are we still here? Are we still hanging in? there we got one more category left and it's best lip gloss. So top lip gloss, no doubt, Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. This is as close as it gets to the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip. This is an amazing gloss formula. The shade I am holding here is the one called Birthday Suit. Very wearable, very everyday. Thick, shiny, completely opaque, but look at that shine. And um, you know, those Bobbi Brown ones are special. They are a special product. They provide moisturization plus the color plus the shine. And it's just a lot of functions kind of layering in there and doing their thing all at once on your lips. And this I think is the closest thing to that. And the applicator is really nice too because it comes out so cleaned off, but there's a little bit of like a dip right in the middle that's holding product. So you can pretty much take care of your whole lips all at once and not have to dip back for more, but the shades are so nice. I will most definitely be linking to the video where I talked a lot more about these more in depth, but key points would be fully opaque color, the shine, the comfort level, just a completely smooth, perfect look to the lips, but with a shiny finish. One sort of co-favorite for as far as drugstore lip gloss goes, it's gotta be the Milani Keep It Full. It claims to be a nourishing lip plumper, and I believe it is 100% the drugstore equivalent to Buxom. Some of them mimic more like the lip creams from Buxom, so we're talking kind of milky, a um, little more pigmented color, and then some are more on the sheer side. The one I'm holding here is the rosy bronze shade that I've really really been using the most. Not that I've been wearing glosses like crazy lately, but it was the most handy for me to grab. And this one has a beautiful kind of bronzy sheen to it, but a little bit of a minty scent, cooling feel. Gonna be overall more sheer than anything I'm talking about here from the Revlon, but a really pleasant wear and experience on the lips. You pair one of these with that Milani lip liner that I mentioned, I think you're gonna love the look. Then my favorite high-end gloss, I'm giving it to the M Cosmetics True Gloss. I think this is, and continues to be a really special formula, holding it here in the shade Tender Rose. It's sort of one of those products where I could pull out any shade and I could really feel good about it because I do love this formula so much. It's kind of like a lightweight gel type formula. I believe it's how it's described. Um, it manages to be very, very even color-wise on the lips, but yet not feel like too much weight is on there. And it very quickly feels one with the lips. When I mean one with the lips, 
lips, I mean you're wearing it and it's not feeling like, okay, there is a separate thing sitting there on my lips. How annoying. Um, I kind of felt that way about the Fenty Gloss Bombs, okay? They go on with a lot of thickness and it's a little annoying to me. But these, it's like this beautiful layer of color that feels so darn pleasant on the lips. If you don't think you are a gloss wearer, I challenge you to try one of these and then tell me that because it is 100% comfort. But you get that shine. There's some beautiful shades in this line, but they just make the lips feel so, so good. It's almost verging on like, is it a lip treatment that I put on there or is it just a gloss? Um, but it's beautiful color too. So had to mention those. Again, I link in these videos, not only to the products I mentioned, but to a past video that I have done on everything. So you can get perhaps more of a try on, past review, a tutorial where it was going on, whatever. I'm trying to make as much info to you available here and make it a great resource that you can use and come back to. But yeah, let me check my list. I think that is everything for this video. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know, is there anything that I've mentioned that you've tried and you've loved or not loved? You know, I welcome the feedback in the comments section. Let's get a discussion going. And guys, the finale is what's coming up next. So I will see you then. Have a great day. Bye.